Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talks. Hope all is well with all of you and your new year started off in a perfect way. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go hit that subscribe button now. And of course, if you're new to the channel, you can go check out all the price topics of which I've been speaking about. And of course, let me know your thoughts on each of those in the comment section at the bottom of each of those videos. Um, in this one, I'm just talking about the beginning of the end for some retail jobs. Now, earlier on, within when I first started talking about TS Talks, uh, uh, in a separate video, I spoke about my personal reasons for leaving retail. And, you know, retail is usually quite a, uh, a entry point for quite a lot of, you know, young people, especially. So um, the fact that there's going to be quite a lot of retail jobs going, um, I think, especially definitely within this decade, and it's going to be quite tough, you know, especially for the next generation of young people growing up. Um, but yeah, in this one, I'm just talking about the beginning of, of the end is what I call it. It's personally what I think it is in some aspects, unless there's going to be some drastic change um, in how retail goes. But, you know, a lot of retail stores, um, they are either closing down, whether that be due to online demand from them, their own companies or, you know, other companies. Um, such as Amazon, their online demand and availability for deliveries, you know, are putting some of these companies out of business, unfortunately. But, you know, um, there's no low, there's no love in business, you know. Uh, I don't think um, Jeff Bezos would care or any other CEO of a company that's putting some of these shops I'm about to name out of business would say, oh, actually, um, I don't want to put them out of business, so I, I'll reduce... Um, my profit is never going to happen unfortunately but yeah first things first mother care um you know as a parent myself i think it's you know it's a great shop you know if you're, if you're someone that you know you have a car and you want to go buy a pram for your child and you're not too sure whether that pram is going to fit into your car for, ex for example when you fold it up and stuff um you know if the mother care store was in a retail part per se i've done it myself i could go to the shop um, look at the pram I, I like, you know, um, test it, um, per se, see what it's like to push, um, you know, take it with me to my car, of course, with a member of staff, check it fits into my boot well, and, you know, of course, that helps me make my decision on whether or not I wanted to purchase it, um, but, you know, of course, they sell baby clothes, baby toys, um, quite baby orientated, and, of course, for, um, expect some mothers, and, you know, overall, I believe it's 79 stores of theirs which are closing this week, which on average shows that around 2,800 people are, are going to be out of a job, um, which for me, you know, is quite tough um, to think about. I think um, hopefully for them, those people, they've been given sufficient notice regarding this. So, of course, they're not, you know, lastminute.com searching for jobs. But even if they have been notified, you know, in the last month or so, um, from someone that's worked in recruitment before, I know December isn't really the best time to be out there searching for jobs, usually neither is January, but, you know, I wish all of them, you know, find a, a new job soon, um, because, you know, that's, that's a lot of people out of jobs at once, um, yes, those 2,800 people have probably staggered all across the country, and, you know, it's a country of, what, 60 million population, so it doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, whereas I think the unemployment rate in a lot of areas is quite high. Um, so many people being unemployed now, you know, it just shoots those records up just by them losing their jobs. Um, another shop, Links of London, personally speaking, never heard of it before. I only came across it in a news article I read about shops closing down. Um, 15 of their shops are closing down and, you know, that's around 350 jobs. So you can see already between the first two companies I've spoken about, that's over 3,000 jobs are lost. And like I said, time of the year couldn't be any worse. And, you know, I'd, I'd like to wish all these people the best in, you know, their attempts to find a new job as soon as possible. Um, another big company, Debenhams, you know, they're closing 19 stores, six of them being this week. Um, this week doesn't seem to be a good week. This is closing down week for a lot of places. Um, but, you know, I know after Christmas, a lot of companies um, sometimes are not in a good place depending on their Christmas trade. And, you know, it's just the way, way it is, unfortunately. 
House of Fraser, another big names shop. Um, they're expected to be closing more stores this year as well. So, you know, already the start of the year in terms of retail and retail jobs isn't looking too good. You know, it's, it's looking like there's um, a decline already, you know, and this week is going to be quite a pivotal week in some people's lives. Um, HMV, um, they're closing three stores this month. Um, to be fair to HMV, I, it... Not to be harsh, but it doesn't really surprise me. Um, you know, the, one of their main things is, you know, selling music and stuff. And, you know, a lot of people consume their music nowadays, you know, whether that be through Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music. Um, so going into a shop to buy a CD isn't something that's really, in CD form isn't really something that, you know, is top of people's list most times. So, you know, um, I presume they've tried to hold out as well as they can. But, you know, unfortunately... Um, the pressure's getting to them and that's just the way that things are going technology developing um a lot of things being digitalized and no longer people needing them in physical form that's just how it goes and overall with most of these shops closing down um a lot of it is due to due to the um the back of reportedly low christmas trade and like i just said you know a lot of things is like um due to digitalizing you know people would rather shop online um some shops like for example there's things that you could get in mother care which you know like a pram etc that you know for some people um to put out of money on a pram or something else cot might not be an ideal to do it all at one cost you could go to very.co.uk or maybe some other websites and get it on a um pay no interest um across three months or nine months and stuff and it's more suitable um delivery slots are more flexible for some people so um it's unfortunate but you know that's how it goes you know um people are always going to shop where it's best suited for themselves and i can't blame them for doing so um but yeah it, it doesn't surprise me um i believe there's going to be a lot more you know retail jobs um which are lost going forward you can already see um in some places where you know um technology is taking over people but that's actually going to be a separate video I'm going to do. So I'm not going to speak too much on it now. But overall, this is me speaking about, for me speaking about this current subject. I think this is all for today. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you haven't already done so, make sure you go hit that subscribe button now. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section below. And then look out for my future videos. Definitely one regarding technology's impact on people's um jobs um in retail and other aspects and other jobs per se i'm gonna do and i'd definitely like to hear your thoughts on it when i do it so that's all from me in this one if you haven't already done so make sure you hit that subscribe button now and